Hi everyone! So I thought I'd share with you a review and demo on the new Blemish Remedy Foundation by Bare Minerals. I recently picked this up on my holiday to the States and I've used it a couple of times and, and so far, well, we'll see when I do the demo. It comes in a little pot like this. I've got Clearly Cream 03. It contains tea tree oil and willow bark to help smooth down the complexion. It takes down any redness, helps with blemishes, open pores, oiliness. I quite like the packaging because it's quite thin. It's really easy to pop in your bag. I think you get about 6 grams which is 0 0.21 ounces. And then when you open it up, it looks like this. You've got a little net here. So when this goes on, this keeps the product inside and stops it from going all over the place. It comes a little seamless brush like this. And what you do is you just pop it into the net, which then disperses the minerals into the brush and you buff on. It doesn't contain an SPF 15 or any SPF. So you may want to be wary of that. You may want to make sure you wear a good SPF underneath or your original or matte foundation over the top just to make sure you've got that protection. Um, it has a matte finish. It's a medium to buildable coverage. You've got a nice little mirror here so you can kind of look in the mirror, see what you think. And yeah, if you want to see how it applies and how it looks, carry on watching. So it looks like this. It's got a little netting there and I'm going to use the seamless buffing brush that goes with it. So you just tap some in and let's start here. What I find with this is that, you know, I just, I get really frustrated because I feel like it's not covering, but then again, it looks better than the other side. So I'm kind of buffing in, you know, and you feel like, oh, nothing's going on. I mean, you can still see my imperfections, but it's kind of toned it out and evened it out. So you just press the net for the product to come out and then buff it on. Now, as I said, it doesn't have an SPF 15 in it, so you may want to just use this underneath your original SPF 15 or matte as a treatment because I just, it's not really doing much. I mean, how many layers do you need to put on? I mean, in my mirror, it looks kind of like my skin's matte and a little bit evened out. But coverage wise, um, I just don't think it's doing too much. I think this is much better as um, a treatment foundation, you know, a treatment underneath foundation, a setting powder, or um, just for individual blemishes. So, say you get one of those big ones and you want to set set a powder on it, then you can. Um, this is now the third layer I'm pushing on. And I literally feel like I'm putting translucent powder on. I mean, this brush is lovely. This is a really nice brush. Um, I just don't feel like it's doing much for me. You know, I think this is probably good for days off where you just want to give your skin a break and kind of treat it. And you're not going to go anywhere <laughs> but you just want you want a treatment on it 
yeah see like that's if you I mean I don't really feel like it's done much I mean how long can you sit there piling it on well I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup and then I'll come back so that was the demonstration I've now put the rest of my makeup back on um, the verdict on this is it's a great treatment product for those days that you really aren't going to see anybody um, if I'm going for lunch or you know going for tea or dinner this is not what I would wear at all this for me is strictly setting powder blemish um, treatment spot treatment or just to use on the you know somewhere else um, the brush is really good I love the brush it's a really nice concept but you know I thought it would have a bit more coverage and not only that a bit more you know it's not really I don't know how this would work on someone who's got really severe acne you know to to treat it maybe but to cover it I just I don't know but you know I have to try it a couple of times more this is probably the third time that I've tried it or that I've used it um, if you've used it and tried it do let me know what you think um, it's okay you know but that's just that's just uh, you know how I feel about it but um, let me know what you think and are you interested in trying it have you tried it do you like it um, and let me know how you get on. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you'll have a wonderful weekend and talk to you soon. Bye So it's now 7 p.m. And I'm in my car and as you can see My face is rather shiny Super shiny. I haven't blotted. I haven't put powder on um, Just to really see the longevity, but I think we'll all agree that it's a bit on the shiny side. I actually, I mean, it feels like I'm not wearing anything, but I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> it's not claimed, it's not claimed to be a long lasting foundation, but yeah, okay.